Hi guys, so today's video is going to be all about my Brazilian wax experience. Um, I have, I actually had to refilm this video because my old phone had the footage and this phone doesn't for some reason because it backed up weird. But anyway, I'm going to do like a short brief video even though it's about 10 o'clock at night where I live. So I'm going to try my hardest to get this, you know, pounded out and uploaded tonight if possible. So here we go. So obviously I had some expectations going into it as to, uh, you know, what I was going to, exp what I wanted it kind of to go. Um, so I wanted it to go fast and I also wanted it to be, it also, I kind of expected it to be way more painful than it was. Um, I also expected, expected lingering pain, which I will do a little bit more of a backstory. Um, m the teacher was looking for bodies, just people to do waxing that day. So, of course, they were mostly just doing Brazilians, and of course, everyone knows where that is. And so, I've actually honestly wanted one for a long time. And now that I've had one, I'm like, yeah, I like it. It's, it's great. It feels good. <laughs> no, it doesn't feel good, but I mean, you know what I mean. I like getting it done, even though people are probably like, ew, waxing, no. But, yeah. So, what happened was, is that I actually got out of school early that day, so I went back an hour after I got out of school. I actually had to wait a few more minutes after the time, because they were doing, like, the model, like, the demo of it. So, of course, I wasn't the demo person, I was the one after the demo, and I am sorry about my hair. Okay, so, and then, obviously, I w waited in the classroom. Of course, they were in a different room at the time, so, of course, I was waiting in the classroom. And I obviously prepped myself for the thing, so, of course, they give you, like, a trimmer or a clipper, technically, is what that is. And then, of course, I clipped a little too close. I did a little too close of a thing with a lot of my, the hair down there, um... And then, obviously, I got on the table and got waxed. Of course, I was a little embarrassed. I will say that I was kind of like, oh, God, I'm exposing it too much. But you're going to. And, obviously, there was only one person in the room that was a male. And, obviously, he didn't even look because he wasn't really supposed to. And that's kind of a good thing that you don't want someone to look at you. Unless if it's the person waxing you or the person that's, like, helping the wa person waxing. Um, And then, kind of like... After that, I got on the table and, of course, got waxed. And, of course, they prepped me and, you know, had me clean myself. Of course, I would do, I do recommend if you do get a Brazilian to ask them if you can clean themselves. Because it is your, you know, cooch. So, obviously, clean yourself first before they clean you. And I was also on my period as well, just a little bit. I mean, I was hardly on it, but I was still kind of on it. So, then I got on top of the table obviously as they did that and then and then obviously when they ripped out the hair of course people think that it's really brutal I didn't think it was that bad but people obviously have different thresholds my threshold is extremely high when it comes to waxing or really any pain in general except for pressure pressure I am horrible with but then after that after that completely happened because it, it did take longer than an hour to do. It took probably about closer to 5 o'clock. About 4.30ish. I was about done. But then again, it's kind of expected in a school. You don't expect it to go really quick. But once they ripped the hair out, it did feel a little tender. But then after that, it was fine. Um, <laughs> I wrote this like the day that I got it waxed. So obvious, the day after I got it waxed. So um, the aftermath of it. It's going to be red. Just expect it. It's going to be really red down there. It's going to feel quite sore. You also have a sticky anus. The technical term. Um, you will have the sticky anus. Um, because they do, at least where I go to school, we do a butt strip. Which is pretty much just getting the anus just waxed off. And maybe some parts of the hair on your butt. Um, some people have it. Some people don't. It will feel much better. Um, I feel it's very liberating. It's kind of like freeing in a way. And it will feel smoother, even though I had a ton of hair. I probably should have trimmed a lot more before I did it. Um, I feel like what what the what I think you, sh you guys should expect and prepare for is if you're doing it, 
at a school, it will take longer because they're still learning and they obviously, the late, the girl that did me, of course, she was in my program before she did aesthetics, but I do say that she did a great job. She wasn't afraid to get up in there, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. Um, obviously everyone's pain tolerance is different. Mine was, I have a very ridiculously high pain tolerance when it comes to really any stinging, burning pain, like waxing, of course. Waxing, that hardly hurts me compared to, like, other forms of hair removal. Like, I've had, um, threading as well. So, um, yeah. Um, it may hurt more. Well, I already said that. Okay. Trim the area ahead of time if too long because the teacher who did me had to do some, a lot of it because my hair was too long. Um, I, I forgot the day before that I was getting it done and I, and it was a later day at school because we were there for 12 hours and I wasn't in term two yet, which I am right now. So, um, sorry, there are like these things of note, of like notebook paper that are like everywhere. Um, yeah, so overall, great experience. I would highly recommend it if you have a high pain tolerance. Um, my people find me ridiculously weird because I like pain when it comes to waxing. So I don't expect everyone to like getting a Brazilian on their period because not everyone is going to like it. But I didn't mind it. I found it quite nice. And I will talk to you guys later. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I might be doing more of these My Experience videos. Because I do have quite a few experiences that I could tell you guys about. Or maybe some more story time videos. Which I have never done a story time. So let's just keep it at that. And I will see you guys later. Bye guys.